What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode 69 of Cartoon Fight Night. Of course, we saved our first meme fight for episode 69 because nobody who wants to work on this show has even the most basic levels of maturity. I'm your host, Beers Bonkers, and if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the first episode. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's battle was a collab animation involving five different animators. These include Craze Gaming, The Gaming Gamer, Larry Winwood, Stealth Zombie Snake, and the MLG Avocado. If you enjoy this episode, then be sure to check out their links down below. Speaking of tonight's battle, we are pitting two of the strongest Dragon Ball memes of all time against each other. Ultra Instinct Shaggy versus Gohan Blanco. Neither of these characters have appeared on Cartoon Fight Club, Cartoon Fight Night, or Rewind Rumble, so we will be doing a pre-analysis on both characters. Without further ado, let's get into it. Ultra Instinct Shaggy is a top tier meme in terms of both quality and power. He has access to the Ultra Instinct state, which allows his body to move without thinking, and much like Gohan, he also has access to the Blanco form. Shaggy is very powerful. Even in his base form, official tier lists rank him as more powerful than Zeno himself. This alone makes Shaggy easily 4th dimensional and multi-universal at bare minimum just in his base form, not even factoring in Blanco or Ultra Instinct. There aren't many beings who can put up a fight against Shaggy, and that's only further proven by the people he's held his own against and defeated. He's held his own against the likes of Goku in his casually universal god forms, who Shaggy is raffle stomped on multiple occasions, Red Shaggy who is an even version of Shaggy who can turn Super Saiyan 4, God of Destruction Bugs Bunny, who is a stronger version of the fiction escaping Bugs Bunny, Ultra Instinct SpongeBob and Patrick, who are both casually beyond massively faster than light multiversal top tier reality warpers who stomp Archie Sonic, El Grande Padre, who has surpassed a power level of Infinity Plus 2, and Ultra Instinct Vsauce Michael, who has surpassed Infinity on multiple occasions. It is also worth noting that while he has never fought John Cena, he is still capable of seeing him which is a feat not many have accomplished. Shaggy is a monster in combat, and if it wasn't already clear, he's easily in the multiversal ranges at full power. But overall, if you pick a fight with Ultra Instinct Shaggy, it can go two ways. Either one, you walk away, or two, he'll walk on your face. Now for the son of El Grande Padre, Gohan Blanco. Gohan is capable of transforming into his Blanco state, a form that massively surpasses even his ultimate Gohan form. Now keep in mind, this form is not Ultra Instinct. The Blanco form is something completely separate to the canon Ultra Instinct. And it also came first, so Toriyama needs to stop stealing ideas from the Spanish Dragon Ball fanbase. In his Blanco form, Gohan is easily capable of keeping up with Jiren who shook the world of Void, putting him at Universal Plus at least. He's even stronger than El Grande Padre before he went into his true form. Gohan can also transform into the Gohan Calvo state, which sacrifices both speed and hair for extra strength and a forehead that rivals the likes of Jax films and iDubs. In this form, he finally gains an upper hand over El Grande Padre's true form that has a power level of Infinity Plus 2, which makes him the only Dragon Ball character who can defeat the Infinite Superman himself. Yet Gohan Calvo still has the upper hand over him, and it took the combined power of El Grande Padre and Super Saiyan 4 Red Shaggy to take him down. But if all else fails, he has one final form he can resort to. The Blanco State mastered to its fullest. Gohan Blanco 100%. This is massively beyond any power level Gohan was on before. In this form, he completely dwarfs El Grande Padre, and he's even more powerful than Jiren's older stronger brother, El Hamano. Gohan has some incredible feats under his belt. Not only was he responsible for Goku turning Ultra Instinct, but he has defeated some powerful fighters such as El Hamano, Jiren, and El Grande Padre. Gohan may have lost in the past, but he's still incredibly powerful. His victories against some of the most powerful people in his verse prove he's on at least a multiversal level. But overall, while he hasn't won every battle he's been a part of, Gohan Blanco is still one of the most powerful Dragon Ball characters of all time. And now, let's get ready for the fight. 
This battle will take place throughout the multiverse, and of course, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! And Ultra Instinct Shaggy takes the win. But before I discuss why, I would like to thank the animators. These being Craze Gaming, The Gaming Gamer, Nari Winwood, Stealth Zombie Snake, and the MLG Avocado. The fight wasn't as long or bombastic as the Cartoon Fight Club series, but everyone still worked hard on it, and I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Also, thanks to the MLG Avocado for writing the script and researching the match. All of these links will be found in the description below. And if you enjoyed my hosting performance, then thank you. I'm not gonna ask for you to subscribe because I'm not that desperate. Now Shaggy wins and I would be more than happy to discuss why in the post analysis. <laughs>
Now if you want to see a Cartoon Fight Night meme free-for-all, with a roster of 69 memes that weren't in the Cartoon Fight Club meme free-for-all, just like this video, and for 10,000 likes, a free-for-all will be put into production. Now don't forget to comment down your own ideas for future episodes, as they might just happen, and stay tuned as I reveal the next fighters. On the next episode of Cartoon Fight Night!